Hello and welcome to 4K Art Gallery. Today, we will be taking a closer look at the life and works of the talented artist, Francois Boucher. Born in 1703, Boucher grew up during a time of artistic flourishing and cultural change in 18th century France. As a young man, he trained under the famous painter Francois Lemoyne, and this early mentorship played a significant role in shaping Boucher's artistic style. Throughout his career, Boucher found inspiration in various aspects of his own life experiences. Whether it was his love for nature and landscapes, his fascination with mythology and history, or his interest in capturing everyday domestic scenes, each of his works tells a unique story. One of his notable works, Landscape with Palatino Hill, view from Campo Vaccino from 1734, showcases his ability to depict the beauty of nature. The serene landscape transports the viewer to an idyllic setting, inviting them to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life. In Rinaldo and Armida from 1737, Boucher explores the world of mythology. The painting captures a scene from Tasso's epic poem, depicting the forbidden love between the knight Rinaldo and the sorceress Armida. Boucher's use of vibrant colors and delicate brushstrokes brings the story to life, allowing us to immerse ourselves in this tale of passion and desire. Another notable work is Joseph introduces his father and his brothers to Pharaoh from 1723. Here, Boucher delves into biblical themes, conveying the emotional reunion between Joseph and his family. Through his skilled depiction of expressions and use of light, Boucher captures the dramatic moment, evoking a sense of awe and wonder. Boucher's love for pastoral scenes is also evident in works such as Pastoral Scene from the 1730s and Pastoral from 1730. These paintings depict the joys and simplicity of rural life, showcasing the beauty of the countryside and its inhabitants. Furthermore, Boucher's exploration of mythology is seen in Hercules and Omphale from 1735. The painting depicts the Greek hero Hercules and the Queen Omphale, highlighting themes of power, vulnerability, and the dynamics of gender roles. In the afternoon meal from 1739, Boucher turns his brush to capturing a domestic scene. The painting immortalizes a moment of shared intimacy and familial warmth as a family gathers for a meal. Boucher also explored his own artistic process in the painter in his workshop from 1730 to 1735. Here, he invites us to witness him at work, offering us a glimpse into the world of the artist and the creative process. Lastly, in works like Derbe Apartment Aurora and Cephalus from 1733 and Derbe Apartment Venus asking Vulcan for arms for Aeneas from 1732, Boucher portrays scenes of mythological significance, capturing the beauty and drama of these tales.